Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to lock apps on Windows 11 so that other people or your child can't get into them. The first thing you're going to do is open your web browser of choice. Mine is Chrome. Now go to your search engine of choice. Mine is DuckDuckGo. Type in lock, L-O-C-K, box, B-O-X, space, Windows, W-I-N-D-O-W-S, space 11 and press enter. Now you want to go with HTTPS FSPro.net which is the second option for me. Click on it. Select download. Click on the download to open it. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Select Setup Language. Select the language to use during the installation. Select your language and click OK. Select I accept the agreement and click Next. Select Destination Location. Where should my lockbox be installed? Setup will install my lockbox into the following folder. To continue, click Next. If you would like to select a different folder, click Browse. I'm going to leave it where it is and click Next. Select Start Menu Folder. Where should Setup place the program shortcuts? Setup will create the program shortcuts in the following Start Menu Folder. To continue, click Next. If you would like to select a different folder, click Browse. I'm going to click Next. Ready to install. Setup is now ready to begin installing my lockbox on your computer. Click install to continue with the installation or click back if you want to review or change any settings. Click install. Completing the my lockbox setup wizard. Setup has finished installing my lockbox on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the installed shortcuts. Click finish to exit setup. Click finish. Close your web browser. It says set password. Please select your My Lockbox password. If you want to use this program without the password, please leave password fields empty and press OK. Choose a password you want to use and enter it in Enter Password and Confirm Password. Choose a hint or a password reminder and enter your email address and then click OK. It says it is important to input your email address here. If you don't, you won't be able to use free online password recovery service. Enable Windows Hello Authentication to open My Lockbox using PIN, fingerprint, or facial recognition instead of My Lockbox password. I'm just going to stick with a password, but if you guys want to enable any of that, you certainly can. The password has been successfully changed. Click OK. Lockbox folder not set. Lockbox folder has not been assigned yet. Lockbox folder is a folder which will be protected by my lockbox software. Folder to protect. You can enter the name of a folder or click browse if it already exists on your computer. If you want to use a folder that you haven't created yet, we're going to go ahead and create that in the next step. It says enter a folder name you wish to protect. You can press browse button or drag the folder from file explorer into this window. If you want to protect a new folder, press browse and then use make new folder button. So I'm going to click browse. I'm going to go with desktop, so I'm going to select it and then click make new folder. There we go, there's the new folder. I'm going to right click on it and go to rename. I'm going to call mine apps, APPS, and click OK. Now click OK. Now go to open. To add an app, you're going to search for the app. Go to apps, right click on the app, and select open file location. Now simply drag and drop the app from File Explorer to My Lockbox. Another way you can add an app is to simply drag and drop from your desktop. You can close My Lockbox now. Now at this point My Lockbox will only lock when you restart your computer or it's shut down and then you turn it on again. To change that you're going to go to Advanced and then go to Auto Lock which is the third tab. 
Under Auto Lock, you have a few different options. You can lock folders when the system stands by or hibernates, so I'm going to select that. You can lock folders after a certain amount of minutes. You can lock folders when closing control panel, and you can lock folders when closing the laptop lid. So I'm going to select all of these. The time is currently set to 10 minutes for lock folders after minutes of inactivity. Now you can set this to however many minutes you want, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to one minute. Now you can close my lockbox. Now to open an app using my lockbox, you're simply going to double click on my lockbox, enter your password and click OK. Now simply double click on the app that you want to open. Now if you've put an app in my lockbox and you still have an application shortcut on your desktop, you're going to have to delete the application shortcut that's on your desktop. Because if you don't delete it, you'll still be able to access the app without going into my lockbox. One of the apps I put into my lockbox was Vivaldi. And as you'll notice here, if I click on the app, if I double click on it, it still opens. Even though if I go to my lockbox, it's in here. To fix this, you're going to delete the desktop shortcut. To delete it, simply right click on it, and then click delete, which is a little garbage bin icon. So that is how you lock apps on Windows 11 so that other people or your children can't access certain apps.